partner in crime, Chef Pilar Valdez. And before the break, Pilar did this beautiful history of tofu and showed us how it was made. And now she's gonna show us how we can use it and cook with it and make it. Yep, so. in not one, but in two ways, basically. So I wanted to share a better way to use tofu. So I'm really focusing on the ingredient here. So the first way is how to get your tofu like really crispy. Yes, which so, I love a crispy tofu. Soft exactly. on the inside, crunchy on the exactly. outside. Exactly, crisp on the outside, and then like this custardy goodness. So the first thing we're gonna do, which might seem counterintuitive, is that we actually brine the tofu in hot hot salted water. Basically the proteins are contracting, so it's removing a little bit of the moisture while getting seasoned. And then you're gonna pat them dry over here. And now we're gonna season them, shall you? This is just a little bit of um, turmeric, a little bit of um, ground garlic, and a little bit of ground ginger. You're gonna season in both sides. That looks great, Drew. And then it's gonna go in a little cornstarch bath, a little dredge. A dredge. And then it into that hot oil. And it's gonna start to sizzle. You can kick it up a little bit. And what this does basically is the cornstarch gives the tofu this really nice coating um, so that it gets a little crispy. So you're gonna do it basically for about two minutes on the side. Each and it's, side? Each side. So it's gonna go two minutes and you can leave it alone. You can like walk away and do whatever you want. And basically after two minutes on each side. It's Drew, gonna look like this that. This is what they're gonna look like. Do you wanna tear into I do. One? I wanna have a little like, yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's got crunch. The second way, so that is like a nice crispy. This is gonna be all about that creamy. We've got some lemongrass and some mushroom sauteing. I love this because I love the tofu scramble. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm seeing, kind of that vibe. It's absolutely that vibe. And this way you get hot pan, put your aromatics, only saute for like 30 seconds, put in your crumbled tofu. And then I like to crumble my tofu by forking it. You can do it whatever. I I, I like get in with my hands and just like yeah, you can. I love that. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. And then you're gonna season it. So hot pan, saute. It's gonna get crisp on the bottom and then you're gonna season it. And Drew, what it's gonna look like when it's done oh. is this, basically. It's gonna have all this beautiful, I'm, I, I'm like, I get in with my hand. Ooh. It's gonna have all this beautiful texture, a little crispy and then mostly creamy and soft. I know there's like a joke, it's just like chicken. That has like a nice chickeny feel. Again, yeah. I just think these like protein substitutes, they can go very meaty, very unctuous, really deliver that like texture that we crave. I feel like we're like nyan, nyan, nyan. Absolutely. And so you can use it like what Drew's saying, like anytime like this like, kind of in your ground meat substitution. So an enchilada in chili. You could do the, the tofu this way. I would crumble it, season it, saute till it gets nice and seared, and then mix it into your recipe. And now what do we do with the broth? So this is like a take on one of my favorite Thai soups. So we're gonna put a little bit of these crumbles. So we're gonna do the tofu, in way here. one in there. Mm -hmm. Lovely, some for me. Yep. And then you're gonna do the second one. This is the one I bit, and I'm gonna pop that in there. Drew, I'm gonna give you a fresh one. And I then I did a really easy broth here. So you can use vegetable stock. I use chicken stock here. And I boiled it only for 20 minutes with some like shiitake stems, a little bit of um, Thai chili. These are lime leaves. If you can't get lime leaves, Oh my God, smell that. It's, it, if you can get lime leaves, definitely use them in your stock. If you can't, do a lime. It's incredible. I feel like I should pass one around later. Some cilantro, a little scallion. We just boiled this for about 20 minutes. You discard the solids. And since this is Thai style, we've got all sorts of condiments over here. And here's the thing with like, like you go to a like street stall, you put it in, it's not suggested. You get to customize. Drew's, Drew's is very customized. 
And here's the thing, like when you have condiments out like this, it gives you the opportunity to personalize your own bowl. It's not like, I suggest you put this. It's like, you do it to how you like to taste it's it. It's fun too. Like, don't get me started on a baked potato bar oh or a God. Cobb salad bar or Amazing. an omelet bar. I get so excited. Here we go. Oh, that is delicious. And I, I'm not, And then you have this like beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's the sign of a good meal when it's just all go. over all your over, chin. All over, all over your chin. Mm -hmm. How are you doing over there? I'm so good and I love this and I love you. Sorry, you might need a screen around me because I'm <laughs> slurping. But I'm having fun. Pilar, thank you, Tofu. You made us Tofu two ways. I love you two ways. Tofu two ways. I love you always. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back.